Hello guys and dolls, welcome back to my channel. Can you stop? I'm trying to film! Can you stop? Please? It's not funny! Hey guys and dolls, um, I didn't film an intro cause of course I didn't, but I really hope you like this look. I hope you enjoy it. I really hope Faya enjoys this look. Um, I have done a look of theirs before and they commented or they liked it or something, but I just want to be friends with you, Faya, please. Let me be your friend and recreate all of your pictures because honestly, they're freaking gorgeous and um, creepy and spooky and everything that I aspire to be. And um, yeah, let me just let you get into it. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you on the flip side. Bye. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover my eye with an eye patch. This is just going to protect my eye from the liquid latex. Here I'm using a just a normal cotton pad and then I'm adhering it with normal band-aids. Make sure you completely cover the cotton pad so that the latex doesn't seep into the pad and get into your eyes um, because it can be very painful and toxic if the fumes get into your eyes. And then go ahead and cover the complete thing with latex, making sure to conceal your edges. Okay, so I just laid everything down. It's all dry and I did cut a hole only so that I could see, but also I'm going to cover it with a little bee, which you saw in the picture anyway. Now on to foundation. Make sure that you use your lightest shade of foundation. Um, and you can also use a face paint, a white face paint or a cream paint for this, but I have very light, light skin. So I'm just using my normal foundation. Make sure to cover the patch as much as you possibly can to get rid of a lot of the color. I have an open, um, like a line here, there will be a B right here, and also right here will be covered by the fake skin, so it will hang down like so, so that won't be seen either. Let's powder and get started. Right, next I am going to use a LA Colors Liquid Matte Lipstick in the color Kiss Don't Tell for the outline of where the beehive is going to be. I'm using this soundtrack right now as easy listening and also because when I look at this photograph I really just feel calmness from it almost as if they are a deity and it is called summoning day the actual photo itself and I don't know I feel very ethereal vibes from this so I'm using a calming soundtrack. for the honeycomb I'm going to take this almost like a mustardy yellow color in the Mayron bruise wheel and I'm gonna go around the inner part Right, now that that's done, we are going to pat on a yellow eyeshadow all over it to set it. To do that, I am going to be using the shade Banana in the Slush Palette. It's a beautiful, beautiful, bright yellow that you can easily build up on, and it's going to be perfect for the honeycomb. Okay. 
Okay, this next part is important. Listen to me. If you can't listen to me, pro tip down at the bottom, read it. Do not ever use acrylic on your skin. Acrylic paint. Do not ever use acrylic paint on your skin. But since we have this buildup here, I can use acrylic paint. So I'm going to use acrylic paint in order to make the, um, the tunnels in the honeycomb and also the highlight. So just letting you know, don't ever use acrylic paint on your skin. Now I'm done with the honeycomb. It looks a whole lot better in person than it does on camera. But basically what I did was I went through and I added little brown tick marks and then blended out a yellowish orange on the bottom. Um, and now I'm going to shade around the area here and attach the piece of skin that she has peeling down and then we're gonna get started on the actual other side of the face. To create depth inside of the exposed skin, I am using a combination of red and black acrylic paint just to go around the inner section of the exposed skin. Okay, I went ahead and added some teeth. I blended it around the outside, as you can see there. Now, I created this faux skin. And basically, this is gonna hang down like this. Now I'm going to be using a deep matte purple in order to contour my face, just like you see in the photograph. I'll also be using this to contour my jaw. Now using another matte green eyeshadow, I'm going in to do a little bit of the blush that you see her have and also a little bit more contouring along the jawline. Using a mix of pink lemonade and sour cherry, I'm going to fill that all into the crease. And then going in with dark cherry, I'm going to blend out up to the brow. I'm going to keep blending dark cherry in until it, you can really see the difference between the two. And then I'm going to take that same color Put a little bit of that into the contour to darken it up and then I'm taking lemon and lime on the temple and then a little bit of sour apple right on the lid that that way you can really see the depth and color brush away any fallout you might have and then I'm taking a white concealer and just highlighting and cutting out the inner corner and the outer corner 
as you can see in the photograph, there is a lightness and almost a shimmeriness of it. And I'm applying Sweet Blossom by Wet n Wild, the highlighter, in those areas right over top of the concealer to bring some brightness. Using a black felt tip eyeliner, I'm very, very carefully accentuating my hooded eyelid and creating some false lash on the end. And then using the same liner, I'm going to line my eyes as I normally would because frankly, I feel naked without it. Taking a C-shaped shadow brush from e.l.f., I'm accentuating the under eye bag with dark cherry again. I'm doing a little bit of concealer on the middle and then I'm taking the same concealer and cutting out the bottom so that it really accentuates the under eye bag. And lastly, I am going to be setting everything under the eye with coconut milk which is another eyeshadow in the palette and bringing it down to my upper cheekbone and above my brow next I'm applying all of the little bees I made so I actually used hot glue in order to create the little bee bodies and hand painted each of the bees myself and I'm attaching them with eyelash glue of course I didn't record me doing the lips but basically I outlined the cupid's bow in the bottom of my bottom lip with black lipstick and then blended in the edges with dark cherry again. And then I cleaned up the edges, making my lips look smaller with concealer. I'm highlighting all of my high points with a iridescent Milani purplish highlighter and then I'm attaching the skin flap with liquid latex. All right, now that the skin is attached, last but not least, we have to do lip gloss and the shirt, and we'll be back in three, two, one. Okay, and that is it. I have successfully turned myself into Faya's character, um, and I don't know how I feel. I feel weird. I feel sketchy. Um, I can't really talk because this is here, but I'm going to go ahead and take a thumbnail now. So it looks like her hand is here like this and her other hand is up like this. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and putting up with me. Um, I'll zoom in and take closer looks at this and then I will see you guys in the next one.